Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Vita Goule, or otherwise known as Becca. Um, I thought I'd do my first ever declutter. It's not going to be like the ASMR, like clicky noises, putting things back in drawers and stuff like other people because I don't have like a permanent setup. But I was tidying my shelves, my makeup's on, and I got rid of a fair amount of stuff. Um, so I separated it into like eye stuff, palettes, lipsticks, and like random stuff. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd go through what I've decluttered, a reason why, and yeah, just thought I'd show you it all. I've got like three revolution boxes that I've just like filled with stuff. So let's get on with it. All right, so I think I'll start with palettes because this is the biggest box and I can get that out of my way. Um, so the first one I've got is this Primark Glitter Obsessed Palette. I think I got this when I was in London once because I think it was London or Blue Water or something. And I was like, oh my God, glitter is so pretty. But then I realized that um, like, it's basically just um, Vaseline with like a tiny amount of glitter on top. And that's literally crap. So <laughs> that's why I'm getting rid of that one. Um, then I've got a makeup something makeup oh got it in asda got this in asda never use it i think i've maybe swatched some shades and that's probably it or maybe that's just how i bought it i think it was on like sale or something after christmas and I, like ages ago and i never used it um i got this palette i got this when i went to the super drug presents um thing super drug presents thing so this um i got like two of these because like you got um each person that came they got a um gift bag worth like up with like 150 pounds of stuff in it i think so obviously my boyfriend came with me so he got two so i got like duplicates and some stuff this i've never used it i think i've given one to my friend like a duplicate i've given a nude version to my friend as well um yeah i've never used it so i'm just gonna get rid of it basically it's the tropical mua tropical oceana palette never used it um, and I'm never gonna because I've got other palettes with better, you know, better quality, better shades, better palettes. So I'm probably just never gonna use it. And then I've got uh, uh, quite a lot of Revolution stuff because when I first started like doing makeup and stuff, um, I just kind of went mad. Um, this, when did I get this? I genuinely have no idea when I got this. This could have been like a free gift that I've never used, the Shimmer Brick. Um, I think I gave one of these to my friend, or this might have actually come in the Super Drug Presents thing. I think I gave one of these to my friend and she said she liked it, but I've never used it. And I probably never will because, yeah, they just seem a bit like not my colors. So that's going. Um, I've got this Ultra Strobe Balm palette, which is like, I'm assuming it's a cream highlight palette. Um, I think I've dug my finger in one of them just to see um, what it looked like and I was like nah don't want it that's going um, I've got oh these these I think these came in like probably about four years ago three or four years ago my dad's girlfriend got me this massive revolution set um, and it came with like blush palettes eyeshadow palettes highlight palettes front like um contour palettes and it was awesome i loved it and i actually like use one of those palettes like to absolute death um but there was some in, some stuff in there that i just haven't used and this is ultra strobe and light palette which i think again is another kind of highlight palette um never used it so that will be going um more stuff from here some of these i have used this is a blush palette which looks like that it's just like you can see I've used that one and one of the others and these looked more to me like highlighters or blush toppers you literally never reach for that anymore and it's really old um this is the iconic lights and contour pro I have never used that whatsoever um but it's going um and then the another blush palette which has more like peachy brown tones in it never used it that's going um then one of the eyeshadow palettes which is reverholic eyes it's like a sh all shimmer all shimmers glitter edit and it looks like that again never used it never reached for it 
um, just didn't. Um, yeah, there's so much in here that's like, oh. And this, I think this was a free gift. It's an ultra base collector. Corrector. Um, yeah, which is like, I haven't even used it. Like, I don't know whether to sell it or not, or just to give it away to someone. Like, I genuinely haven't even opened it. But I think it's like, those like things when you put like if you're red you put like green there and it corrects it i don't really see the point in those so i think it's a lot of ball to be honest um i've got this um goldie goldie eyeshadow one again all shimmers um never used it never once never ever um i've got these squishy donuts um the pink um the blue and yeah the orangey one um i wanted these because they were squishy and because i'm an idiot i've swatched that i think once never used it um i've still got a little the little thing that goes with it this one don't think i've ever used that either there's so much stuff here that i've never used yeah that is completely untouched never used it I could I guess I mean that could be a really simple eye like really simple dark to light a little bit of shimmer it could be really easy but what's the point in keeping something that I could give to someone else or sell and that I haven't touched just for me to use it once and then never again it's just pointless when I could give it away um this I've swatched this because this genuinely does it really pretty um but then i just never used it again so um i have so many other palettes that i love and adore and want to use so i don't see the point in keeping this just for the sake of it um this god i've had this for so long i got this in tk maxx um paid like 4.99 for it it's a bourgeois um bourgeois paris um less smoky palette and i got it specifically like you can tell i was just i only got it like i pretty much used it for the white and the silver for like smoky eyes and that was it um i used this to absolute death when i started doing makeup because i would put like a bit of black on and then i'd put like the silver or the white just on the shad on the lid and that'll be it um yeah i used it to absolute death but now i don't need it anymore so yeah that's going this is the is this the same one god i can't remember this looks like one of the palettes that um i think this is a palette that i used to death but i got two of them in the set that i mentioned that my dad's girlfriend got me and there was two of them and so this is what i used to use along with this obviously this one hasn't been used but i used the other one and i got i declined that and got rid of it because like it's so old um but yeah so i'd use like these colors to do like basically just a rounded smoky bit and then i put these shimmers on the on the lid and that would be it that'd be me that's me like on a night out that, that was my like wow makeup you know back then um but yeah because i don't again i don't need this palette anymore this was like me getting like this to me like this was like my beginner makeup and now i've really got into makeup and i found palettes that i adore i love really good quality um this you know just did me fine this you know i felt good when i had my makeup on you know so i can't complain about it you know it got me from a to b and it got me to where i am now i suppose so that's pretty good but i don't need it anymore and i'm not going to use it again so this is going um another another one that i don't use this one is all matte but um it's that and that's just really such a weird color story to me really random i haven't actually used it but i think i accidentally um stuck a brush in there somehow but yeah that's going um uh max and more i've used this a bit apparently um don't i don't know how i think i just used it because it was colorful and this is like you can get in like b&m and stuff or like um family bargains for like a pound so i used to get them um 
Again, Max and More. I think I got these actually in the Super Drop Presents thing. These two, um, the Max and More. Um, I think I've swatched that. I haven't actually used it. This one I haven't touched. No, I didn't get it in Super Drop Presents. I got it in Family Bargains or Home Bargains. For well, I don't know why. I just can't stop myself. And I bought it and I've never used it. Oh, you know, typical makeup problems. Um, and then the last two things from my eyeshadow palettes is the Jeffree Star Androgyny and Beauty Killer, which my boyfriend got me for Christmas, not last year, but the year before, and they turned out to be fakes. So um, I did actually use this in a look. I'll post the picture up now. And I didn't see anything wrong with it. Like it worked well, It, uh, you know, the look came out nice and everything, but knowing that you don't know what goes into products that end up being fake. Like I didn't even find out it was fake until I did my eyeshadow collection video <laughs> and someone messaged and said about it. Um, yeah, I didn't even realize because I'm not observant. But um, yeah, I felt bad that my boyfriend lost money on this because I think he paid, I don't know how much he paid for it, but um, he's lost money on this and you just don't know what's in it. So they are gone. So yeah, that's it for eyeshadow palettes. All right, I'll do like little like single shadows, glitters and all that kind of stuff now. So I picked this up in TK Maxx and I was obsessed with this, absolutely obsessed. It's a single Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in the shade Enchanted. Apparently it's usually £12 but I got it for £3.99. Um, and yeah, it's like this really deep purple and I was, when I first started getting into makeup like like properly like wanting to do like cut creases and stuff so probably like 2018 2019 um yeah i think it was like 2019 i was obsessed with doing like trying to use a purple cut crease with this and um it is a very nice color but i don't think the quality wise it's like better than other things that I've got and I don't use it anymore because I've got other and better things quality wise color wise I feel like I've got because it's like a dark shimmer but I feel like I've got this in other palettes so I don't need it and again um, I can't remember when I got this so it's probably quite old not that that normally bothers me um, it will in, in a minute I'll tell you why uh, normally I don't just get rid of things because they're old but um, there are some things that are just a little bit just you should get rid of something if it's as old as this for example um, or this basically right so these I remember I got these in a massive Asda in Margate or Broadstairs and I was like, oh, they're pretty. I got this green one and this purple one, and it's called Vivo. Do you even do you even hear about that anymore? Is it even in Asda anymore? No, I think this is probably. I reckon I was probably fifteen or sixteen, so that's ten years ago. This is ten years old, <laughs> like, and I use these to death. Although it's a very nice colour, it really is. It's like a, it's got like a metallic sheen to it. Like, it is. Oh. It is quite a nice colour, but um, again, I don't need it anymore, um, and I definitely don't need them when they're that old. This is just like a, um, t a teal, turquoisey colour, so yeah, getting rid of them. Then I've got my Dazzle Dusts, my Barry M Dazzle Dusts, which I absolutely adored. Um, I got them in... I don't even know what it doesn't even say. It doesn't even say. I think this one was like cherry something and this one was like petrol. Like petrol something. It doesn't even say. But this one is kind of like a duochrome. Like um it's like called oil spill or something like that. I can't remember. Um but I loved them. Oh god. Um I think I've got a picture of when I worn them and I was like 16, I think. So again, like 10 years ago I've had these. Um, like, I don't know if you can see, it 
is just um, kind of bluey into purple. Um, yeah, and I've got a picture somewhere. Like, it's still full because I didn't even know how to use it. So I just, yeah, literally didn't even know how to use it because I'm an idiot. And then this one is just red. Um, it's just like a cherry red pink. Again, I just need to get rid of them because I never use them now and they're very old. Same as this, this Max Factor single, can't even remember when I got it. This number seven single, can't even remember when I got it. Um, then I've got the, um, these, right, I've got a few of these. My boyfriend got me these from AliExpress because this is when I started getting really into dual chromes and multi-chromes. And it is, oh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. C-M-A-A-D-U Cosmetics. Um, so that's like a gold into green. It looks absolutely amazing on camera. It truly does. Um, that's like red into yellow or gold. This one is blue into purple. Um, and that one is green, greeny into blue. Um, yeah, I got these. was absolutely obsessed with the swatches. I've got it. I'll insert it here now. So I did swatches when I first got them, um, but then when I tried to put them on my eye, again, this is a Vaseline with a bit of cup, like a shit ton of Vaseline, tiny little bit of stuff. And then it just stays wet. It doesn't dry down. So then it creases really bad. I shall show you just for, wait, where's that one that looks really good? That green one, right, I'll do that because they look so cool but then it's just not um because like literally like this 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 tiny thing and then you're like whoa like right how cool is that and it's like dude that is mental i was literally so happy when i got these my boyfriend like so happy but then literally right i'll just put that's it that's just the color and then that little space there is just vaseline it's like there's no product zero product but it is seriously ugh, such amazing duochrome that it brings brings me pain to get rid of them but they just don't dry down and they crease so so unfortunate so so unfortunate um but yeah they're going because of that product on top of a shit ton of vaseline is not it's not makeup in my opinion um yeah it's just a waste of money um then i've got these things i've got these two um quartz cosmetics things some girl I used to follow on um, instagram when i first started out it's just pink glitter but it really isn't the best glitter whatsoever it's actually quite um chunky and painful so yeah getting rid of them um then i've got um this mascara that i haven't even opened but i don't know how long i've had it um, I think I got it free, but I have got no idea where I got this from, genuinely got no idea, but it's still in its protective seal, but there you go. Um, then I picked up this Aldi Too Legit Benefit Dupe um, mascara. I didn't really like it. I used it, like I can't even remember, I, like, I got it because I got it with this. I also got the brow gel, I got um, this brow pencil, and then I'm like, I can't even use brow pencils. Why did I do that? And then now I've got a way better brow, brow gel, so I haven't even opened this. I literally haven't even opened it, and it's in the shade medium. This I've used once, and I was like, this is taking me ages. Like, I'm coating it and coating my eyelashes, and I'm just like, nope, I'm gonna go back to my Primark Wonder Lash, thanks. It's really not that great, um, my opinion, but whatever. Um, so they're going. Um, this brow gel i might try and give to someone else if anyone wants it um then i've got also i picked up this in lidl because i was like jesus this is actually such a great deal um it's it was 199 and it's a volume mascara and an eyeliner pen right and two in one and i was like that is awesome but i didn't i thought it was a liquid pen like a like a liquid pen it wasn't so 
now I'm just getting rid of it because I'm like, well, that's pointless. It wasn't what I thought it was. I was going to do a review it, but there's not really enough makeup in my lid all for me to do a review. Like, I feel weird just being like, well, what am I going to do? Just put some mascara on for a video and put some like eyeliner in my water and be like, cool. Yeah, no, it just was kind of pointless. So, um, God, I've got like stuff all over my hands. So I'm worried I'm going to put it on my face. Then I've got this XX Revolution. I did, when XX Revolution launched, I did got it on... Mid, I think it's midnight it launched. I got it at midnight. I launched like what? I spent nearly like 300 quid on that launch. I paid it off like, oh my God. It was like the worst thing, like it was stressful. Anyway, right, because there was so much that I wanted and I didn't even get all of the stuff that I wanted. But one, Excess Revolution is more expensive. Um, the prices have gone like ridiculous. Um, but I got this eye primer in Translucent, the eye fix eye primer because i was like you know i should start using eye primers more like i've been using my i started using my p louise and that was fine and i was like i should use this it was horrible it literally made my eyelashes my eyelids feel like i can't even describe it like dry and like it wasn't <sighs> i put it on and it feels sticky and tacky like you'd expect from an eye primer it's meant to like keep eyeshadow on but then when i was trying to blend it would make my brush skip over my skin because it kind of like made it made my skin like sandpaper or something it just felt awful i absolutely cannot not recommend this enough <laughs> just do not buy it it's crap um so that's going i've used it twice and i hated it both times like uh, it's disgusting and i'm really weird about textures so that really made me cringe the next thing well the last thing actually from the eye collections is the xx revolution liquid duochromes eyeshadows i was so excited about these um so so excited the same with the eyeliners i haven't I haven't decided whether I'm decluttering the, the duochrome eyeliners. Um, I've got a video um, of me using one of these. Um, I can't remember which one it is. I think it might have been Evoke. Um, I've swatched them all for my video because I did th a three part video because I didn't have enough room on my phone to do it in one go, blah, 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 blah. Um, so there's a three part video of me swatching these and then doing a look with these. And yeah, you'll see you'll see in the video exactly what I mean um you put them on like you swatch them and they look awesome they look really really cool um they look quite duochrome-y and yeah they look really nice you put them on your eye and it just disappears into space and time into some sort of abyss it's like there's nothing on there it just disappears and like I put it on top of a shadow as well oh i can't even remember now it was like over a year ago but yeah i put they're awful they're literally awful that's all i can say i can't i can't tell you how disappointed i was and for how expensive they are as well like because that's all you get and it's expensive i was so disappointed because the duochrome stuff was like the main attraction for me and it was such a disappointment genuinely so disappointed because it was i was so excited i was so excited because they looked so pretty and they were so crap <laughs> so they are going um i might give them away or try and sell them because they've only been swatched one of them has been used the others have only been swatched so i might try and sell them to try and get like a little bit of money back but yeah that is um the eye stuff i'll quickly go through this just random stuff so i can put all of that eye stuff back in this box um other random random stuff from decluttering is this um jelly highlighter from revolution i got two of these i don't even know where the other one went i think i gave it away as a christmas present because again those damn mystery boxes that like give you when it's like oh I'll spend 30 pound and you get like 30 pounds worth of makeup free but actually it's just all the stuff that is like not doing well when you just want to get rid of all the stock <laughs> There you go, know, yep, get rid of that. Never used it, don't like it. Um, this I got a Revolution Skin Finish Opalescent. It is cracked into dust. Dust, anybody? Um, then I've got this Rimmel Insta Fix and Glow. Never use it. I have used some of it, apparently. 
So I think it was like my first ever setting spray. Um, then I've got this liquid highlighter. Again, free gift. Um, liquid rose gold. Way too dark to me. Um, it's still sealed in the packaging, so I'm not going to use that. Um, then I've got this MUA blush that I got when I used to work at Superdrug because I got discount and like the MUA stuff was already cheap and then you get discount and I was just buying so much MUA stuff, it's unbelievable. This bronzer, I got a lot of love out of this, loved it, but never use it anymore. Um, then I got this free at the Superdrug Presents thing, um, it's the um, Schwarzkopf Live, basically a... a um, it's like a dye, like you spray it in your hair, but again, it kind of goes like crusty. I'm never going to use it. I'm, if I want to dye my hair, I'll just dye my hair, you know? Um, then, again, I don't know where I got this. I think I might have got this at Superdrug Prevents. I can't remember. I've got no idea, but this is a highlight palette, um, but it's cream. I think two cream, one powder. Um, I think I've swatched them, I'm never gonna use it, that can go. Then my boyfriend, bless his heart, um, got me this Dark Angel Revolution highlight, um, but it is for darker skin tones. It's beautiful and I was tempted to, um, I was tempted to like keep it and maybe use some of them as eyeshadows or something, but no, I'm just gonna get rid of it. There's no point. So yeah, that is that is it for like random odd bits. Okay. Last we have lipsticks. So um this is what I mean when I said about some things you do have to get rid of if 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 like they're old. Because like if I listened to these expiry dates on makeup like oh 12 months i'd have no makeup left <laughs> like and i can't afford to replace palettes or lipsticks or mascaras or whatever just because they've been open for a year i'm not going to replace my entire damn collection on a yearly basis or sometimes a six months basis no thank you if it smells fine it's going on my face you know which brings me to one of these lipsticks smells rank <laughs> so mm-hmm so these are just really just most of this is just a collection again that's probably about 10 years old and just accumulating some of it's like MUA stuff that I bought when I was working at Superdrug. Um, this one is I think it's a sleek the packaging looks sleek. It is um, the Matte Me Ultra Smooth um, red lipstick. Never use it. Um, MUA purple lipstick never use it i used to that still smells like it did before so that's fine i've got this tiny mini technic matte lip cream never going to use it again lip technic lip cream never going to use it this max factor red lipstick but i think it's a gloss so don't use it because i can't stand glosses this revolution i think this was a free gift as well or i can't remember um in something beautiful color metallic beautiful wanted to wear it for christmas but it's glossy and i can't stand it looks so pretty but it's just so sticky <laughs> makes me want to gag this is a max factor clear thing which i think is meant to keep a lipstick attached to it that like on or something i can't even remember I've got this Smashbox lipstick with a thing that goes with it that makes it matte. Um, you put this on and it's like a regular lipstick. Mm -hmm. And then you put this on and it makes it go matte, but it still transfers. And I can't stand things that transfer. Um, I want things that are gonna stay on my mouth through an atomic bomb, you know? Um, then I've got this don't even know what it is i think i got this in tk max or something um it's a holographic lip gloss from somewhere um i don't know why i bought it when i know i hate lip gloss but i'm thinking oh you know holographic that sounds cool I never used it and that smells quite strong of like sweets oh oh well that's not sweets that's like plastic no that's not nice um, I mean, look at that. 
got that TK Maxx and that's like separated. That's the Ink Redible Shook to the Core off the hoof. Um, it's like a lip coat or something. Um, again, I bought this because um, it looked cool. Um, that's also smells awful. Oh, I didn't even buy that that long ago. Um, this is, I think, an MUA lipstick. I've got honestly no idea. Um, it's just, I used to wear this so much. It's insane. I don't think I've ever worn a lipstick that much. Um, that was like my go-to. Don't need it anymore because I got better lipsticks now. MUA, just the pink one. This is just all stuff like when I was like getting into makeup and I was just buying anything I laid my eyes on and sometimes I'd wear it, sometimes I wouldn't. More Technic Matte Lip Cream. Oh God, Mellow Cosmetics. Need we talk about them? If you know, you know. Um, then I got this. I think I got this. Wait, did I get this? I think I got this in TK Maxx as well. I spend a lot of money in TK Maxx. I'm glad it's shut. Um, Vivid, Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lips. Liquid Lip. But, I, Vivid Matte Liquid. But I think it's a gloss. That smells fine. I need to know, because that's actually quite a nice colour. I need to know if that dries down. I might not get rid of that. Um, this is just a ridiculously old, some sort of gloss. Like, should I smell it? I don't even want to say what that smells like. Um, then, oh, also my favorite ever lipstick my first ever one i bought it i was like oh my god that's so pretty wore it on every single occasion it is smushed um it still smells fine it smells exactly like it used to but i don't need it anymore and i don't like lipsticks that transfer um then i've got this random tart lip paint and i've got no idea where it came from don't need it although it is a very nudie nude um, then I have this which I have loved to death because it's a pencil so it's tiny so I've sharpened it a lot um, yeah I, I loved that when I did nude lips before before you know I went into crazy lips then I have oh what is this I've got a oh I've got two of these basically I made them of my inlet like again probably about eight years ago I made a my first ever Illamasqua online order because I was like oh my god like Illamasqua that sounds high end oh my god my first ever high end thing and then I tried it I got this red lipstick in Man Eater um, I got two of them because they said it was delivered then it wasn't delivered then they said it got sent to the wrong address but then two of them turned up at once so I got like two of my order anywho so I've got one I've never used in its box um and this one and it was the most transferable lipstick i've ever used in my life like i've used many a red lipstick many a red lipstick that transfers this one it felt so oil based it just slid off my face it was awful and i hated it it was like the worst thing i've ever bought i swear mm, no that's probably a lie but yeah, so I've got another one that I've never used in its packet that I'm getting rid of because I tried to sell it and no one wanted it. Um, then I've got this Random Revolution purpley, again, a lip gloss. I don't think I bought this. That actually smells like fish. That smells like fish. So that's probably why I'm getting rid of it. Um, then, along with my, you know, I said about buying those little mascara eyeliner in the box 199 um they had a lip pencil which looked pretty and this lip pencil i'm never gonna use it i bought it it was cheap i was gonna do a review on it but then i just thought what's the point so i'm getting rid of it um and then this extremely old and dried out crusty looking max factor red lipstick um which Oh my god, look, it's broke. Which really doesn't smell great. <coughs> and then 
a Max and More matte lipstick. Again, you can tell I was into my reds. That smells okay, but I don't think I put it on my mouth. This isn't drying down, so this is officially going. That is why I'm getting rid of it. Because I buy things because it says things like vivid matte. I buy it and then it turns out to be vivid gloss. So anyway, that's it. So that is my first official declutter. Um, I think there's a lot more. I've got a lot more Revolution palettes that um, I'm not gonna use, but some of them are still sealed and my boyfriend got me them as like advent calendar presents and stuff, but I'm not gonna use them. So I thought we might as well get our money back. So I'm gonna try and sell them somewhere. I don't know um, and I'll see. But um, yeah, other than that, this is, all of that was pretty much crap that I'm getting rid of that definitely should have been gotten rid of um I'm not going to use it it stinks smells like fish that kind of thing <laughs> fish and a rice cake um yeah so I'd say I've got rid of a fair amount of stuff um so I don't need to get rid of anything for a little bit now um but yeah hope you enjoyed this declutter i'm sorry it's not like you know other youtubers where they have like the click clackety thing or you know actually get to show you things in their drawers but i don't have like a space for my makeup properly it's just like a shelf in a side room so yeah that is kind of it the way that it is um also um i found out that um you shouldn't really just dump your makeup in the bin and but the closest Eco, you know those like drop-in makeup things in a shop like boots or super drugs on one of them does it um yeah the closest one to me is like 30 miles away and i don't drive i'm not getting on public transport to go and do that so if there's anyone else that like can tell me what to do with my used makeup then please let me know because i'm actually like at a loss of what i'm supposed to do with it if i can't recycle it or put it in a regular bin so yeah i'm confused but um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i also have other social media which is my instagram my facebook and my twitter and i have a tiktok and I have other video platforms, so you can have a look at that in the description below. But other than that, I'm going to go and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.